social media is a really good channel to kind of build a community of your customers, the people who are interested in your brand, the people who actually care about the things or the services that you're selling. So that's really one advantage also that comes with using social media and something that brands should really focus on in terms of like one of their goals to build their social media marketing plan. Welcome to the Payo e-commerce Academy podcast where we help you with your e-commerce journey. Here is our host, Althea. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Payo e-commerce Academy podcast. I'm Coach Althea and I'm excited to tackle today's topic. So I'm sure you're familiar with social media and its different platforms, but how much do you know about social media marketing? Well, our guests today are going to help you learn more about it. Please welcome Camille Reguia, Payo's Senior Brand Manager, and Dennis Hilario, Payo's CTO. Hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome. I'm back again. Yes, he's <laughs> and, back. And and she's back. back. Again. They're all, we're all back. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, thank you for joining us today. And um, I know that this topic is something that both of you are very knowledgeable about. And Sir Dennis, I know you work on social media even outside the company. Like yes. you do it personally, right, as well. So um, I'm sure business owners are interested to know um, about social media marketing. So let's dive right into it. Um, first of all, can you take us through the current landscape? Like, how has it changed the past year? Because we have like Facebook, TikTok, mm-hmm. so right now see Facebook. But before like 20, 20, 2009, yeah. 2009, I started on Facebook. So the mga 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 millennials kara mm. na user ngayon. Pero ngayon, unti unti na na dada yung yung mga ane, target audience niya. So yung Facebook right now most of the user is yung medyo may edad na. So yung mga millennials, saka like Gen Z, um, lumili pa sila sa TikTok right now. Mm, I see, yeah. I see. Also right now, like si LinkedIn na observe ko din na before very formal, mm-hmm. yung mga postings, like more on job job hiring. Yeah. Pero ngayon right now, may kita mo, meron na silang mga motivational. True, true. Meron na din silang mga techniques, may mga seminar na din na sinishare sa platform nila. Yeah, um, naman yung in another angle, parang I think last year was like um, mga videos mostly are heavily edited, mm-hmm. heavy, uh, sorry, heavily edited. No, like mga effort <clears throat> ka talaga. Mm-hmm. So it, it takes, uh, no, kasi I think before that, yung nag trend talaga are raw videos lang, eh, sometime 2016, 17, and then naging highly or heavily edited na yung videos. Pero I noticed this year, parang bumabalik na yung raw. Yeah. I mean, parang bumabalik na yung raw authentic. videos, mas authentic. Parang ganun lang siya, nag-aano lang siya. Nag, uh, nag-detrend, tapos namamatay, tapos bumabalik ulit, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think to, um, to kind of combine or relate what you both said, because you, Camille, you said right on LinkedIn before, it was more really like a Very professional formal, space yeah. and all that. But then now people are more open about sharing like their personal struggles sometimes mm-hmm. or even um, their experiences that can be helpful or insightful to um, you know to businesses and even their colleagues and then like what you said sir as well like there's a resurgence of content that's really more about being honest I guess more unfiltered mm-hmm. than right. before so I guess people are really like wanting more real content in a sense mm-hmm. so yeah that's true I think I have observed that as well as a user so that's pretty spot on. Okay, so now let's focus on the actual topic of the podcast, which is social media marketing. Mm-hmm. Why do you think it has become such a big thing in the past few years? Maybe it's because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Because dati na, parang ini-ignore ng mga businessman yung power ng social media and then ng digital marketing. Pero nung dumating yung pandemic, walang choice lahat eh. Bawal right. lumabas, there's no traditional marketing. Kahit mag-billboard ka sa ENSA, walang makakakita kasi nasa loob lahat ng tao. True. And then, yung tanging source of ano mo lang na ma-promote yung product mo is a digital marketing. Like YouTube ads, yeah. videos, and then yung content, mas static posts. And then some, they do um, webinars. So then, and doon sumikat yung live selling during yeah, pandemic. Yeah. So kahit ako, nagbebenta ako during pandemic kasi wala ka naman gagawin, di ba? Ayun. And I think that's when people saw how versatile the online mm-hmm. space can really be. Yeah, if you look at the, or you review the history or evolution of digital marketing, um, I think it started in 
ano pa lang eh, blogging days. Mm. Ah, yes. Blog, written blogs, di ba? Oh. So, people are doing that. Actually, even before Friendster, Facebook, na, etc. So, na nagkaroon ng Facebook. Actually, I remember my experience the first time na I was able to open ano, eh, uh, my email using a mobile phone. Mm-hmm. So, I was so amazed. Wow, I can bring my email here sa mobile phone, di ba? Technology. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, tapos, yung moment na nakapag-post ka ng photo, Uh, mobile, tapos nakikita agad ng friends mo, uh, di ba? Tapos meron pong background music yung profile <laughs> sa friends there. <laughs> correct, yeah, correct. and I remember on Instagram, before people would take photos of like their cereal, mm-hmm. like the most Lahat. mundane uh-huh. thing. Yeah, right. I think ang essence lang talaga ng social media marketing is that, parang dati, eh, yung you're, you're able to post ano, real-time uh, events or real-time scenarios uh, ano yung nangyayari sa'yo um And then, in relation to business, what is really happening doon sa business mo? Yung mga behind the scenes, uh, and of course, the value that you provide sa yung market, di ba? Sure. Parang ganun. So, mas easily accessible siya, uh, unlike yung traditional of, bago ka makapag, ano, makapag-promote, you have to go through like TV promo- promotions, radio yeah. promotions, and social mas, media, mas media kasi is, exactly. Social media kasi is, practically free. Di ba? Especially if you're doing yung content, uh, kumbaga, creative really yung content mo, you know, you can, you'll be able to reach your target audience organically. Something like that. You know? Or if not, you do it by posting or boosting, di ba? Okay, so you mentioned something about like the value that you provide, right? For um, your customers. Yeah. Um, having said that, what are some of the goals that brands should have in mind when it comes to creating their social media marketing plan, like, is it about the likes? Is it about the shares? What should, mm. you know, what what should their goals be? Sige, I'll answer first na no. Siguro, I, I think yung question na yan is relevant to the question of parang what is branding. Yeah. Di ba? So, to be kasi, branding is like two things, no? Uh, either um, you want your target market or customers to achieve something na parang yung gusto nilang ma-achieve or yung pain point na gusto nilang uh, ma-solve, di ba? So, yung content mo sa social media should be directed or yung approach mo is parang ganon, di ba? So, being able to provide solutions dun sa pain point ng customer para madala mo sila dun sa yung parang dream nila na mapuntahan or yung pain point na gusto nilang uh, matanggal dun sa i-address, di ba? You know, yung process kasi of social media is like, ano eh, Uh, for it to be effective, you have to really have a system. Yeah. Uh, like from definition of your content, or yung content calendar, tapos yung mga uh, tinatawag na content pillars, di ba? Um, on a macro level, you should define it uh, based on that premise yung nabanggit ko kanina. No? Yung details na lang, yung integrity, somehow you can be creative, pero at the end of the day, your objective is that, ano, uh, yung nabanggit ko kanina, di ba? Something like that. So, it revolves around that. Um, and kaya nga, may ano tayo, uh, yung social media is not really a solo job. No? Yes. Uh, isa rin sa, ano, ano, sa additional input. Kasi, you know, it comes with so many factors and variables from copywriting, uh, visuals, creatives, audio, video, uh, photo, di ba? something like that. So, these days, it's really expensive. You know, to do social media and for you to be able to stand out dun sa, uh, sa market, di ba? That's one of the challenges there. Pero tumalun na ako, pero that's the may take on it. No? Uh, siguro in addition lang din sa snabi ni Dave, yung sa goals, mm-hmm. for example, for our merchants, they need to build then yung brand loyalty ng mga customers nila. And para, kasi minsan parang, di ba, parang post lang ng post, mm-hmm. tapos... Minsan, kung ano yung uso din na hindi naman related din sa brand nila. Tapos, alam mo yun, parang nasisira din yung branding nila. Yeah. And also, yung, um, they need to, ano din, like, to manage the reputation of their brands. Dun sa, so, kasi sa social media, mabilis, mabilis kang sumikat, mabilis ka rin mawala. Mm. para kung makachempo ka ng parang, like, very, yung customer na mareklamo, mag-post lang, kahit hindi naman totoo yung sinasabi. Yung, din, yung mga brand owners din, 
Ayan, present sa social media. Kailangan din nilang i-manage yung reputation nila, like yung mga negative comments. And then, sometimes, pag hindi ka responsive din dun sa mga nagko-comment sa'yo, mas lumalaki yung yeah. problema. Diba? Nagkakaroon ng mga issue, ganyan. And then also, stay competitive din sa market. Kasi minsan, porket nakakbawa, mga 2 to 3 videos, nag-trend na. So, minsan nagiging kampante na din yung ibang brand. Ah, ito. Pero minsan magugulat ka, ito, 3 million yung views nila. Pero after nun, 1,000 na lang. Ganyan. So, they, they still need to, ano, like, keep update, updated and then competitive. Yeah, I think that's so true because in social media, there's not really, like, a foolproof formula, ah, yeah. you know? Like, sometimes brands can do something and people are gonna love it. Like, mm-hmm. your videos gonna get so many engagements, so many shares and whatnot. And then the next day, you try the same thing and it's just not working mm-hmm. like it was. So that's true. And to kind of add also to what you said about loyalty, I think that's true also. Like, social media is a really good um, channel to kind of build a community mm-hmm. of, like, um, your customers, the people who are interested in your brand, the people who actually care about the things or the services that you're selling. So that's really one advantage also that, um, you know, that, comes with using social media and something that brands should really focus on in terms of like, you know, one of their goals to build their social media marketing plan. Okay. So, consistency yeah. rin yung key, di ba? Yeah. Yeah. Some brands is na parang iba-iba yung messaging nila or at yeah. times uh, daily sila mag-post and then after a month, nagiging, nagiging once a week na lang and then babalik na naman sa, you know. So, parang walang consistency, di ba? Yeah. So we talked about some of the goals that um, brands should have. Let's talk about some of the misconceptions that they might have when it comes to social media marketing. So for me, siguro, one of the misconceptions din ng mga, like for example, if si Dennis, may, meron siyang like a marketing agency na nagmamanage nila ng mga social media. Sometimes yung mga client, ina-expect nila like if you mag-ask at mag, meron kang quotation, mm. akala nila mura ang social media. Parang mm. minsan akala pa nila free-free yung posting. Pero <laughs> syempre, if you want to build your brand, yeah. you need to invest then like the ads, of course, and influencer marketing. Mm. Like, wala na, sa kanil akala nila mayroong overnight success sa social media. Yeah. Lalo na like, for example, if very traditional din yung company, like old, hindi naman like also, <laughs> medyo, medyo may kaedadan na yung may-ari. Like, first time nila pupunta sa mag-invest sa digital Social marketing. marketing. Ina-expect nila, like, pag ginawa mo ito, kinabukasan, okay na. Like, successful na. Pero hindi ganun kasi, like, sa social media. You need to build pa yung algorithm mo, yung brand mo, yung, yung brand presence. And then, sometimes yung iba, nagpo-focus sila sa followers and likes. If though marami namang followers, maraming likes, pero walang conversion. Mm, yeah. Diba? Pa- parang, dapat balance din. May likes, may followers, and then may conversion. Din. So, yung ano din, yun, 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 yun siguro yung tingin ko na mga misconception ng ibang brands sa social media marketing. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, ako naman, I think yung uh, common misconception talaga is that they think na yung social media, especially their page, is all about themselves. Mm, actually. Or promoting themselves. Diba? diba? But in, in, but in reality, you know, the people or the customers really don't care about you. What they really care about is themselves. Yeah, and the value. The you value. Know. What is in, what's in it for them, diba? So, ang nangyayari kasi is that these brands, they always talk about themselves, diba? I think, nabanggit ko na rin to before na in any situation, like tayo, as friends, for example, diba? Yung taong lagi nagsasalata at na, nakikinig is something na parang ayaw mo nang kausapin ulit. Uh, diba? Because it's <laughs> <laughs> something like that. So it also applies to social media marketing, di ba? So it's really about, it's really about the, ano nga, yung like ko sinasabi, yung pain points of your customers and your audience. That's really what they care about and that's really the key, the formula for you to build your community and your followers. Right. I think one of the misconceptions I can think of in relation to what you just said is that mm-hmm. yeah, some people think social media is just for like bombarding their audience with information mm-hmm. about their company, like who they are, th- these are our products, go buy them, buy them. And like, if that's the messaging, I feel like it's not going to be very effective, yeah, especially very hard sell. Yeah, very hard sell, especially in a place where people expect uh, community engagement and whatnot. So yeah, I totally agree. Um, 
moving on, um, as people who are in marketing yourselves, um, what are some of the top tips you can give to merchants as they build their social media marketing plan? Uh, for me, siguro, define your clear goal. Mm-hmm. Tapos, know your audience. Kasi minsan, parang, hindi naman lahat market mo. Yeah. ba? Diba? And also, pumili ka ng platform na doon ka mag excel Kasi, for example, if tracking ka na ganyan, tapos, ipopost mo sa, like, for example, um, TikTok. Doon minsan naman, nakakachamba naman. Like, yeah. iba, diba? Pero yun, siguro, hindi lahat ng platform, na social media platform, pwede mong salihan. Mm. Like, pwede mong bentahan. So, yun, yun, yun yung akin, siguro. Yeah, that's true. So, sa akin, I think you have to understand, really, your, the buyer persona na tinatarget mo. No? Ano yung offering mo. So, for example, if you're selling um, a certain beverage, diba? Uh, let's, Um, take for example si Red Bull so si Red Bull ang target market nila or ang buyer persona that they target are yung mga nag extreme sports yeah. diba? so if you notice dun sa social media nila uh, most of their content is really about uh, the actual ano, uh, videos of people doing extreme sports madalang ka makikita dun ng logo of Red Bull diba? So, bakit gano'n? What's the learning uh, dun sa particular content na yun? It's really, you know, people can really resonate uh, with your brand if you are really posting rel- relevant content dun sa ano mo, target buyer persona, di ba? So, once na- na-identify mo yung buyer persona, then the next step is identify the competition. What do your competition do what are their strengths and what are their weaknesses, di ba? So, then, try to position yourself dun sa weaknesses of your comp- comp- competition or competitors kasi that's where you will stand out uh, when you start posting content, di ba? Kasi if you compare ka, so for example, a furniture business, di ba? So, a furniture business at times, i- I think may isa dito si na local ang position nila is European furniture, di ba? Marami, sina Taylor Living, sina ganyan. So, uh, parang European furniture. Pero if you look at it, if you look at their website or their content, uh, they always post about the product, di ba? Pero may mga tao or buyer persona, what they want is, parang they want someone na may makausap. Uh, so that, parang siguro, an in-house Uh, interior designer, di ba? Or a furniture business who can do customized ano, furniture, di ba? So, if you position yourself dun sa customized furniture, then your content will be more on that ano, uh, aspect, di ba? More, what's this? More strategic yung content mo. Hindi lang yung puro, ano, uh, puro yung collection or gallery of your product. But also somebody like an interior designer talking about what is uh, a good uh, interior design for this type of room, etc., etc. Kumbaga, hanapin talaga nila kung ano yung niche nila. Exactly. If you notice yung mga social media content ng mga furniture business, puro gallery lang of the product. Mm-hmm. Diba? Pero pag may nakita ka doon na an interior designer talking about, uh, you know, what's the best uh, furniture for this Uh, location, for this kitchen, for this ganyan, then, you know, you're someone na parang different type yung content mo eh. And yung, yung people, hindi sila mabobore because iba yung content mo compared dun sa competition. Yeah. Iba, may puso yung katahe. And that's what they're looking for, you know. They don't really need someone to show, they, they can just go to your website to check exactly. the furniture, uh, given this example. But if you provide value and like help them kind of you know, choose or decide what type of furniture goes well, uh, goes where, I feel like that's more important. Yeah. Saka sometimes yung product, ginagawa na nila ng story, o kaya minsan yung audience na yung gumagawa din ng story for right. the product. Eh. Mm. Na para, ma- na kumbaga yung brand owner, sila na yung nagbe-benefit doon kasi nagawa na ng story yung brand nila. Yeah. Right. Actually, that's another approach to your point, yung storytelling, di ba? Uh, yung mga brands like uh, Nike, they're not talking about their shoes, they're talking about the stories of the athletes, mm-hmm. di ba? So, depending nga dun sa particular niche mo or, uh, for example, a co-working space, no? A co-working space, 
if you invite um, your customers, uh, normally ang customers ng work in space, sino ba? Mga work from employees, startups, etc. If you interview your customers in a podcast, for example, and post it in social media, then a lot of like-minded people will now be engaged and curious. Ano ba tong working space na to? Di ba? So, kumbaga, ma-attract mo sila because you are also talking about their particular pain point. Di ba? Something like that. So, that's my general tip in uh, uh, social media marketing. Yeah, I, I, I really like that. And again, it makes a lot of sense. I don't think card selling is something that really works um, in the landscape now, especially because it's so saturated. Like, there are so many stars that sell the same thing or the, the same service. So, yeah, kind of finding the value that you provide or like finding the solutions to the pain points that your customers experience. That's what's key. Um, for me, I would say um, another thing that, like another tip that brands can kind of remember when they build their social media marketing plan is to also be flexible in a way. Because sometimes there are like trends that would be perfect for your um, your brand. And again, since it's a trend, it's not going to be there forever. So you right. kind of have to make adjustments. Like you, you have to like act quickly, like think on your feet. Like, do I want to kind of jump on this trend? Because um, if you do, like, it's it's kind of weird to do a trend. And then it's like, you know, it was trending two weeks ago, and that's the only time you do it. So I think just being flexible, being agile, and kind of like really seeing what's working in the market is is also important in creating your social media marketing plan. Yeah, I agree, you know. Um, so you also have to be always on the lookout, you know, on your trend. And then, like you said, experiment on it. Uh, and see what works in you mag double down ka ng effort what doesn't work then you know you can always drop it diba? mm-hmm. something like that so having talked about like everything we've talked about do you think that every e-commerce store every e-commerce brand should invest in social media marketing why or why not well generally i think i would really suggest you know, na to be in social media if if you if, know if possible you try all platforms mm-hmm. Kasi you'll start, especially kung nag start ka pa lang. Kasi you'll never know what really would work. Yeah, diba? um, and at the same time, if you, you'd be dependent in one platform alone, and suddenly, na-block ka niyan, or like recently, Facebook. nag-down sa Facebook, yeah. diba? So, wala ka na. No? So, yun nga. So, you really have to be um, managing your risk as well ano, when you, it comes to social media marketing and I think for me you know but at, at, at least for, uh, in my opinion you don't exist if you're not in social media yeah yeah, True. yeah. I think that applies for people also <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 mag may nakita ka lang speaker hanapin mo na sa social media tapos pag wala parang sketchy joke lang correct correct kung nasan wala yung competitor mo nandun ka din parang kumbaga more channels yeah more, more chance of of winning. <laughs> Parang ganun yung, ano, yung, yung for me naman. And then also, yung syempre, like yung sinabi ko kanina, yung target audience mo din. Kung ano ba, you have to be specific din. Kung, kung, an, kung, kung para ba siya sa TikTok or para ba sa Facebook. Then, or Instagram. I'd like to add din, ano, kasi may isang angle din is that, ano, ano bang gagawin mo? Is it short form? Mm-hmm. Medium form? Long form? Diba? So sa akin kasi, again, if you can do everything better, because some people or brands, short form lang ginagawa. They're not doing long form. Some people, long form lang ginagawa. Hindi ginagawa yung short form or medium form. So to me, if you'll have uh, resources and effort and budget to do it, do everything. Diba? Kasi, again, you'll, you'll stand out kasi if you're doing those. I mean, doing everything. Eh. Yeah. And I think by doing everything... Saka may retention. Yeah. And you see what works when you do everything. Correct, correct. And some people kasi, well, ang based on my observation, yung cold audience kasi nakukuha mo sa short form eh. Pero once they're na loyal na sila sa'yo, they'll be looking for more content eh. So that's where they jump into medium form uh, and then consuming your long form as well. Uh, so really designed naman for yung mga loyal mo na ano, na followers or customers. Yeah. So, we kind of talked about the present landscape already, but I just wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys foresee for the future of um, social media marketing? 
Ako, siguro si same din si Dennis sa sasabi. <laughs> Ang nakikita ko right now, yung new future, future ng social media marketing is yung AI. Hmm. I think, hindi lang sa social media marketing, pero in different aspects din, new like, technology. new technology na talaga siya, na parang kumbaga, napapadali yung buhay o napapadali yung trabaho ng bawat tao. For example, for social media content, um, pwede tayo mag-generate. Though, hindi naman siya ganun ka-accurate, yeah. pero you need pa din, syempre, ng, parang for me, you cannot defend it pa din sa, ano, sa AI. Of course, you need pa rin ng someone talaga na to check it, na syempre, hindi naman lahat yung applicable sa sa'yo. Kasi, kasi para generate lang naman. Diba? Pero, ayun, pero maraming tools na parang mas makakatulong. For example, yung leads, mayroon ng mga way na paano mas madali makuha. Yeah, like and automated. Then, automated. And then sa video, sometimes pag wala kang time mag-video, like yun na share ni Dennis before, na parang mayroon ng mga stock videos na parang mag-write ka lang ng something. Then, pwede mo na siya pang filler yeah. sa mga ano mo, sa mga videos mo. So, for me, yung yung future ng social media right now is yung mga AI tools na gumalabas ngayon. For me kasi actually, I was like contemplating on this ano um, before um, dahil mas nagiging competitive na rin talaga yung market yung mga naga social media um, eh, medyo mahirap din na makapenetrate ano if you're, you're parang like, lahat kasi nandun na oh so you really have to stand out or do creative efforts to to do it and pamahal siya ng pamahal di ba pataas ng pataas ng pamahal <laughs> kasi ano eh um yung mga nagbibigay na ng, I mean, na nagpo-post ngayon ng mga brands talagang quality na din yung work, eh, di ba? Now, if you are, like, bago sa market and then you want to compete with them, you really need also to invest in those, ano, di ba, uh, efforts. Hindi mura. Hindi siya mura, eh. Pero, ang, well, ang my point here is that feeling ko, no, I have this feeling that yung mga social media agencies are gonna, you know, if not die is um, oh. yung business nila is ano uh, mag slow down, down because they cannot keep up with quality eh diba? an interesting in take yeah. Yeah. kasi di ba marami na din, like hindi lang minsan maghahanap maghahire ka ng agency para to create ng something content na very creative pero ngayon like very smart na din yung mga so, yung mga influencer hindi na rin sila minsan naging individual na lang sila kasi pag agency may cut pa. So, minsan directly na sila nag-offer sa mga brands. Yeah, especially yung some agencies na templated. Oh. Diba? At times, I think we've tried once before, diba? And then, yeah. na-turn off tayo because uh, templated na sila. So, like, they didn't even... Well, emotion. Yeah, and also, they didn't even, like, kind of <laughs> study what yeah, content uh-huh. would work for the brand. Right. And, and if hindi naman sila nag-template, then I don't think that scalable is scalable for them. Kasi it's really gonna be expensive. So, it makes sense that brands should really do it in-house. And then, hiring social media. Kasi if you hire social media ano, uh, agencies, ganun din yung cost eh. Ganun yeah. din yung yeah. Saka hindi pa nila ganun ka- kabisado yung brand. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yun, that's my ano, uh, ano, thing with the future is that people... Are, or brands are gonna ang yung yung mindset nila is perspective ng mga brands will be parang uh, they will also run as a media company and I think that should be the uh, mindset of all brands yeah I think it's still different when you do it in-house mm-hmm. oh, ng bayad yung mga revisions <laughs> di ba? <laughs> number of revisions lang din Yeah, but of course, yung AI na banggit ni ano uh, ni Camille, I also believe in that. It's just that it's just a tool, di ba? Yeah. At the end of the day, you cannot really rely 100% dun sa it's ano lang siya tool to accelerate your ideas, di ba? Assistance. Assistance to accelerate yung editing and whatnot. Pero at the end of the day, there's always ano human intervention pare. Yeah, and if anything, like um, putting together the two points that you guys shared it will be easier for brands to kind of do their content in-house because there are so many tools now that help them, um, you know, create content faster, create content easier. And yeah, like they'll still be there to kind of make sure the quality is up to par. But then again, with all the available resources, it might be hard to see, um, you know, social media marketing agencies really booming in the next few years. 
I think yung <clears throat> nagbo-boom ngayon sa US yung ano, AI automation agencies. Mm-hmm. Yung social media marketing parang medyo nagda-die down na, but the AI uh, automation agencies ang nagbo-boom because yun nga. Um, as we discussed, 'di ba? Even yung content generation ginagamit yung may lumabas nga na I don't is it from Google na is just from from a prompt they can you know, they can already produce videos na ano mm-hmm. parang movie like oh, yeah. movie like uh-huh. oh. Something like that. So it's, I don't know if I'm gonna be scared or or. Yeah. So is it exciting or is it scary? Actually, pag sa pag chinek mo sa App Store, ano, Google One, Google One mm-hmm. yon. Pag tinig na mo, halos lahat don sa Google One. Marami na AI, parang AI tools na don si Google na nila ano ba? And yeah, I think Bio uh, is also jumping into that ano trend and bandwagon ano. Uh, Maybe something we'll talk about in future episodes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so honestly, we had a lot to discuss today. And thank you for all your insights. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation as much as yeah. I did. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> more questions. I think we'll see you again next episode, maybe. <laughs> But I think one of the key takeaways um, that I have from this entire discussion is that social media can really be a powerful tool if you know how to leverage mm-hmm. it. So, you know, it's really something that brands should be investing in. Like, um, not just to reach their customers. You know, again, now it's not just a way to reach their customers, but it's a way to, you know, convert leads and to really kind of see what else or what pain points their audiences really need to be, uh, really need solved. So, yeah. So, before we end this episode, is there anything else that either of you would want to share with our audience? Yeah, sure. So I think um, uh, I'd li- also I would like to promote si, ano, na, the services of Payo because uh, right now we are really expand expanding, uh, yeah. especially on the marketplace um, optimization side. You know where we manage the stores of our, our clients or merchants. No, and the, right now our technology and process are really ano, improving because we're doing a lot of innovation. So yun lang. Um, You know, if you are uh, a merchant or online seller, feel free to visit our website, Payo.Asia. Feel free to sign up with us. <laughs> okay, so that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to keep an eye out for our next episode in the coming weeks. Bye! Bye, thank you.